Hi Libra. Hope you're having a good day so far. I know I am. Vibing high. Ready to do a good reading for you. So let's see what's going on in your person's energy. The one that's affecting you the most right now. Ooh. Looks like you're two strong people, not wanting to really give in to each other. You're passionate about each other, but uh, you're both stubborn. So you're at some sort of a standoff with somebody. Somebody you cared about, maybe still do. You warned them at some point, but they wouldn't listen to you. Uh, you gave them uh, a lot of chances, didn't you? But now you understand that you're not going to take anything less than you deserve, right? You're not going to take it. You're a spiritual warrior. And others see that in you. You're a star seed with a destiny. Mm -hmm. You're collect, connected real well to your higher power. In fact, you're, you've been chosen. You're a chosen one. You have some sort of a mission to fulfill here in the 3D. Yeah, you're not speaking to this person right now, but uh, you're always thinking about each other. There's some kind of a 5D psychic connection with this person. You might feel their energy at different times of the day or night. And they have the same thing going on. Okay. Yeah, they're acting very stubborn now, this person. Mm -hmm. They may want to speak some truth right now. Oh, oh my goodness. Now this person is rather staunch. They might not show their emotions real well, but right now they want to talk. And I don't know how expressive they're going to get, but I, want, I think they want to show you some honesty. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they've got a great big old ace of wands for you. Yes, they do. This person is passionate about you. They want to offer you, or actually, they're hoping that you will offer them a brand new beginning, passionate, wonderful beginning. But you're both, you're at a standoff. You're waiting for each other to get a hold of each other. Yeah, you want them to be the first one to get a hold of you, and you want them to be, they want you to be the first one to get a hold of them because you're stubborn, but because they want to tell you that they want a fresh, passionate, new beginning with you, okay? Um, like I said, you're a spiritual warrior, and it looks like maybe you've, uh, you have a destin destiny. You're headed in the direction of your destiny. Looks like you may be leaving this person in the dust. Mm-hmm. Uh, you had an emotional tryst with them. Something went on and you're looking for a brighter day. Yeah. Might have been some secrets there. Yeah, there was this person was in the shadows and it looks like you just you left. You left this person. But you know what? I think you're still looking at them on Facebook and stuff like that. 
wherever they are, where their media is, you, you take a peek at them now and then to see what they're up to. Hmm. Because you're thinking about each other. You have a psychic connection and you're wondering what's going on with them. I think they're looking at you too. It's mutual. You're spying on each other, but nobody's doing anything about it yet. Mm, yeah. We want to hand you this uh, new beginning, this new offer of passion. Uh, but they don't think you're going to take it. Yeah, the boat has been uh, tipped over in some fashion, and uh, that doesn't mean they're not going to, you know, I think this person wants to tell you how they feel about you, but they don't think they're going to get you. That doesn't mean that they're not going to get you. It just feels like they're going to have to come up with some other strategy or maybe just be nicer to you. Mm -hmm. They think you're a... Uh, they think you're a soulmate. And they see you as their shining star. They, they put you above others, whether you know it or not. And they want to heal this connection. Yeah, I think they want to... Uh, have an equal balance here, some sort. In the Queen of Swords, in the upright, this, this person, uh, they have intuition and they want to be honest. Okay. So they wouldn't mind having a conversation with you. Uh, you, but you're just coming out of being really confused and in your emotions. And uh, you were trapped for quite some time. You, you didn't know what was going on. You were confused. And, and now you're coming out of that. And uh, Yeah, you're walking away. You're still holding on by spying on them, though, once in a while. You might have other things on your plate now. Mm -hmm. You might be dealing with somebody else, Libra, at this time. Or you just have other uh, options on your plate. Uh, you got a lot of things going on, a lot of irons and fires in the iron and <laughs> irons in the fire. And you, uh, you don't know if you have enough room in your life for this person right now. You're, you're busy. Or... You may have some other love interest that you're you're dealing with right now, and you just uh, you can't handle it all. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We've been this route before. This person sees you as their Ten of Pentacles. There it is. Confirmation. They see you have everything they want. Well, why are they being standoffish? Why are you walking away? If you have everything they want, they see you as a lost soulmate. They want to heal. Why? What's going on here? But they see you as your, their Ten of Pentacles. That's just, uh, that's everything. Family, heritage, nice home, real estate, whatever. Businesses, being able to create, produce something great together as a team. Building a family, solid foundation. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, that's, that's about as good as you can get. That's how they see you, as number one. They've been stingy in the past, though. Oh, yeah. They're realizing now that they've held back. They weren't giving. They were stingy. Mm -hmm. Stingy. And they held back their emotions from you. 
have a hard time expressing their emotions. And yeah, yeah. Whew. You walked away because you spent too much time, too much time waiting. You know, hanged man. Eight of swords in reverse. You're coming out of it. Man, were you confused and upset and anxious for a while over this situation. And you waited. And you conversed with your higher power. You needed, you needed signs. You needed information. The only place you could get it was from your higher power. Seeking inspiration. Seeking answers. Yeah. You once saw this person as your everything. Yep. You thought that uh, you were thinking alike. You saw them as your ten of pentacles too. But the offer that you got was bogus. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you're not going to move ahead and you're not going to ever have an abundant life. It just means somebody threw a Oh, how would you say it? Somebody threw a wrench in the cog. I don't know. Everything seemed to be going pretty good. In fact, it seemed to be going gloriously. It seemed to be going gloriously for you. Until. Until. No, until yet, but I can tell you one thing: this person that, that you're uh, in your energy is in pain and remorse right now. Yeah, they're suffering over this. They're suffering over the loss of a soulmate. You walked out on them, walked away. They need to learn to how to temper their words. Yes. Maybe this person has a habit of just impetuously speaking what comes to their mind without thinking it over. And then it hurts people, embarrasses people, embarrasses themselves. You know, one of those type of people that just has no filter or very little filter when it comes to just blurting it out. So they might have blurted out something to you and you might have not liked it. You finally had enough. Well, wow. <laughs> you must be a good kisser, Libra, because this person loves your kisses. Mm -hmm. They want to kiss you. Of course you're a good kisser. You're a Libra. Very romantic. And if you're not, you should be, because you're from Venus. Anyway. What broke up this relationship, I think, was jealousy. I think this person perceived you to be stronger, wiser, smarter, more talented, something. And they were jealous of you. Jealous of your power to maybe make money. Or just create a good life for yourself. This, this person might be away somewhere, like at a distance. You might have met him on a vacation. You might have met him someplace, you know, distant from your home. And they may live there or spend a lot of time there or something. But uh, they seem to have to travel somewhat.
and they're thinking right now that their time is running out. They need to find a partner. Yeah, they, they need to team up with somebody. That's what they're looking for. Hmm. They're shopping. They want you, but they don't know if they're going to get you because you, you've walked out. Left them in the dust. They hurt you in some emotional way because you're leaving a lot of cups behind. You took a long pause from this person. You had some figuring out to do. <laughs> it looks like you're still on pause. You don't want to deal with anybody who's jealous. That comes up once in a while, doesn't it, in your readings? People are jealous of you. And you want to ask them, why they hurt you. You didn't really see any reason for it. You didn't understand why this thing went awry because you don't know why they hurt you. You'd like to ask them if it was worth it to them, what they got out of it in the long run. Mm. Mm. This person chose lust over love. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people do these days. A lot of people don't even understand what love is. A lot of people don't believe in love. It's sad. But they'd rather just brush love aside and go out and have some meaningless sex with somebody just for some kind of instant gratification, you know. And then usually after that, people feel shitty about themselves because... Leaves them with a hollow feeling, you know, if you just go out and be lustful. Okay, well, yeah, they they didn't they didn't go for the love part of it, and they had you in a third party. Oh yeah, okay. So they came after you for some lust, and then they realized that wow. I'm fall I've fallen in love. I've, I'm, I've gone crazy. Or at least, I don't see a lot of love here. I just see a lot of strong passion, sexual desire. So this person uh, is very passionate towards you. They put you in a third party, and now they're going crazy because they want to get with you. And they know they've blown it, don't they? But they're, they're not facing up to it. They're just keeping away. It's a standoff, a stalemate here. Nobody's talking. And you're the third party. They probably had this person before they met you, and they just added you to the roster. You're very different than anybody this person's ever been with before. You actually blew their mind. They might act different around you than they do other people because they just don't know how to act around you. They might be shy or, or act crazy or wild, but they're not... They're, they don't act around you the way they act around other people. Maybe they just don't feel confident around you. insecure around you but you do feel like home to this person yeah there's something about you Libra that just calls them in they want to you know cuddle with you and sleep with you every night cook for you and, you know that's what they're thinking they want to do but do they really not if they have lust over love. Nobody's going to love them if they, if they can't open up and express themselves. Wow, yeah. I can see why you left this person now. They stabbed you in the back. Mm -hmm. They did something that 
hurt you. Hurt you deeply. And then they left you. Like you didn't even matter. They made it seem like you were being discarded at some point. But it looks like in the long run, this person might have ghosted you over and over again as they had you in a third party. But you know what? I think in the long run, at the end of this deal, you had the last say. I think you're the one who walked out. Just couldn't take it anymore. They were emotionally abusing you. You know, all those cups they left behind were full of abuse. Questions. They're really worried now if you still care. Yeah, right. Because they know they're losing their soulmate. They, now they think you're the greatest person in the world. They want to heal the relationship. They want to try and speak honestly with you, but they're still staunch. I won't. I wouldn't expect if you hear from this person from for them to uh, just open up to you right away. They're still going to feel a little cold. And uh, I don't know how you're going to feel about that. Because it looks like you don't... You're not having much to do with this person. Except for, you know, spying on them a little bit. Checking on them to see what they're doing. Your intuition is right on. So, whatever you're thinking about this person, it's probably close to the truth. In fact, your intuition might have told you to get into this Eight of Cups energy and, and hit the road before things got too much more out of hand or you got hurt anymore. Backstabbed. Here we go. You had good sex with this person. Oh, 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 oh. Here's the kisses card. Yeah, they are very passionate about you in a sexual way. Yeah. They crave you sexually. They, they thought it was really good when you were together with them. If you didn't have sex with this person, they dream about it. You liked it too. Mm -hmm. That's why you're spying on them and stuff. You still got a little bit of thing for them. But could be driven by sexuality on both your sides. You're hung up on each other sexually. They've never had anything like you before. But you're so different that they... Maybe they just didn't when they... When you first got together, maybe they just didn't understand how different you were. Or maybe you scared them. Maybe they thought you were, they just couldn't figure you out or something. So they went ahead and did all this to you just because they were trying to, you know, have sex with you and stay in your drawers. Or something like that. They got somebody else and they're out there, you know, cheating with you. That could be the case. Yeah, this person thinks you're blessed by the gods. Yeah, they, they see you as somebody with really good fortune, all the good luck and everything. Maybe that's why they're jealous about you. Because they see you as somebody that's being protected and somebody who's walking in a, on, a, on a beautiful path. They're not on it. They want to be on it with you, though. Yeah, they want to marry you or something. Well... They want to build with you. They want to grow with you. They want to have a family with you. Marriage is just words on paper to some people, so I don't know. But they're really concerned that you might have somebody else. And they don't think you care about them anymore.
gosh, they're thinking they're missing out on a whole lot of fun with you. They know that if you could get back together, you'd have a lot of fun together. That's what they're thinking. This person's been, you know, they've been uh, in some pain and remorse over this for a while. So they're missing the fun they had with you. They really are. Maybe if you got back together, they're promising themselves they'll be better and all they'll do is be fun and they'll make your life decent. And then all that, because you do feel like home to them, they do with that Ten of Pentacles up there in the home card, man. That's Ah, age difference. That might be freaking them out. This person could be quite a bit older than you or you could be quite a bit older than them. The age difference might be freaking them out. If you're still going, if they're older than you, they're going to probably wondering if you're still going to love them, stay with them, as they age. And uh, you might be concerned about that too. You're, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about the age difference. That might have something to do with with this not going through or. The reason that things turned out the way they are. You are different. You're very different from anyone else. Oh my God. Right on top of the good sex card. Sexy. This person is all about passion. They really are. And lust. Remember? Lust over love. Yeah. This person craves sex with you. They think you're really go gorgeous and sexy and they just want to get you in the sack keep you there it looks like but what about this third party yeah they're, they're watching you real close they know you're blessed by the gods and they can't figure that out they wonder why you get such good luck but Maybe they're really believing now that you are blessed by the gods and, and uh, they just, they're trying to figure it out. Where do you get your power and, and your intuition and, and everything? Like, like I said, they've never met anyone like you before. This person's controlling though. Male or female, they like to take the lead. They're kind of an alpha. So yeah, remember I said they're stubborn. They want to control the situation. You know, they don't want to bend. They don't want to bend. They, feel, they probably feel too insecure to let you take the lead because they just got to be in control. They're insecure. And you're getting some good karma right now. This may have been a whole learning lesson for you. Just a big karmic experience. But your life is going well. You may not know it, but you're very lucky. Again, confirmation card. You're the one they're looking at. You're the one they want. And I think the more you pull away, it looks like the more they want you. Yeah, you're in separation right now. We know that. You're both unsure of uh, the future of this connection. Yeah, this person's yearning for you, but they are not at all certain of this, how things are going to play out between you. Yeah. They see you moving on. They don't think you want to have anything to do with them anymore. 
they've just been a big waste of time. They know that. They're in pain and turmoil. Yeah, this, this situation, as far as you're concerned, is over. You're transforming your life. You're going someplace else. You don't really want to give this person any second chances. Some of you might. You know, if you're not far along in this scenario yet, as I'm making it sound, uh, you might want to give it some more chances. But this person here who's come this far, they've given this person a lot of chances. Libra, you've given this person a lot of chances. Some of you are just beginning this realization. You just don't want to give them any more chances. They don't deserve it. Not after what they've put you through. You want to keep your karma good. Yeah, this person has just been too sne sneaky for you. and They've been too comfortable in telling lies. They've been way too comfortable with lying. Someone who probably lies so much that it's just habitual or second nature to them. Some people lie when they don't even have to lie. And then they trip themselves like a few minutes later. They just trip over their own words because they're just lying all the time. And people can see right through it. Well, hey, a few minutes ago you said this. Now, this doesn't make any sense. And then you see their bald face lying to you. Some people are like that. You know. What is lying all about anyway? You know. If somebody, well, I'm going to throw a couple car more cards here. Just for a second. I've got something else I want to do. This person could be a hard worker. They might just be a hard-working person. Put you in a third party and you know, you're having an affair, basically. Had an affair, but then they got really strong feelings for you and, and feelings for them, too. And they're, they're carrying emotional scars from the past, of course. That's why they can't do anything. They're hurt. They're broken. Somebody hurt them in the past, and now they're they're staunch, they're stubborn, they're, they don't show their emotions, but they pulled that shit on you and you walked off. They're, they're really worried that you found somebody else. They don't think you're single anymore. They can't talk to you, they don't know what you're doing. Some of you may have blocked this person by now. Others may still let them be on your Facebook and stuff so you can go over there and look at them. Yeah. They know you're the one, but they need to let go of things. Somebody, something. They have burdens in their life, they have addictions, they have things, whatever it is, they have to release and get rid of before they can come to you. Now, I said I had something else we were going to talk about here for a second. Now, a lot of you, especially you fellas, you know, you're so anxious to get with a gal that you, you uh, fail to see the red, sign, the, the red flags. So I've just got a few notions here, a few uh, things that you should think about when you're out there dating around and you're starting to get hung up on some woman. This is for women too, but guys are especially, you know, blockheaded when it comes to dealing with women. If they haven't, you know, figured it out yet, they're just all opened up. They're all, you know, all vulnerable or just... Women seem to be a little bit smarter out there in the playing field. So, for you guys and girls, I've just got some things that you should watch out for red flags for. Like, 
Have you ever caught them lying to you? Now, a little white lie, they don't want to hurt your feelings. You know, they don't want to tell you that the, your cat died or something. You know, that's, that's different. But if they just, you catch, you catch them in little lies and they try and talk their way out of it, that's a big red flag. Because trust and honesty is the foundation of any good relationship. If you don't have trust and honesty right off the bat, you don't have anything. Somebody lies to you, cut them off. If they're lying to you, then they got secrets. Are they the jealous type? Oh my gosh, jealousy is the worst of all sins or whatever, because it's just a horrible thing. Jealousy is really bad. If they're jealous of you, or the jealous type, they try and make you jealous of them, or anything having to do with that, that's a big red flag. That's real insecure insecurity, and it shows a, a cruel streak. Uh, does your person ever avoid questions? Do they try and skirt the issues? When you just ask them a simple question, do they just kind of go here and, and go there? That's a red flag. People should be honest. Don't avoid questions. Are they reciprocating your affections, your emotions, and your love? If you don't feel you're getting that back in return of what you're putting out, that's a huge red flag. But you guys will just keep pursuing and pursuing and chasing and chasing. Even though you, the red flags are there, hey, I'm not getting down on you guys especially. It's just that I, I don't want to see you get hurt. A lot of my friends just, you know, they, they come to me all the time with their problems. I'm a cry and tell for my friends, basically. And they do not get the love in return, but they just keep hanging in there thinking that it's going to change. It's going to get better. Not as long as you're chasing somebody and, and acting desperate, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. Do they dwell on material things? Do they like money? Do they talk about fancy stuff? Do they talk about what other people have? That's a big red flag. That could be money over love right there. Does your person want to control you? Do they want to manipulate you? Do you feel like they're trying to put you in a box? Tell you what to do. Put you down so you don't feel good about yourself. That's a huge red flag. Control. Mm -mm. If you love somebody, you set them free, right? Uh, if they come back, they're yours. If they don't, they never were. And here's one that a lot of people don't even look at. Are you in love with the idea of love? Are you really in love with the person? Are you, are, are you just in love with the idea of love? Have you been lonely? Uh, is your Libra Venus thing just working overtime? You just want to be loved. So what you're doing is you're projecting your love onto someone else, hoping that it will get mirrored back to you. Uh, so ask yourself that question. Am I just in love with love and romance? Or am I really in love with this person? And whenever you meet anybody, always ask yourself that question. Am I just in love with love? Or do I really have these feelings for this person? Does this person that you're dealing with, do they hide you from others? Like their family, friends? Like they keep you a secret? That's a huge red flag right there. And don't allow friends or relatives or anybody to influence your relationships. Just no. Listen to their advice if you want to, but don't follow anyone else's orders or prescriptions for your love life. That's very personal to you. They don't understand the emotions that you're going through with yourself or another person. It's none of their business. All right. 
you know, we'll uh, talk more about this next time. Um, until then, thanks for stopping by the old Swedes bungalow. Peace and love to you.